welcome to Estancia Sao Carlos. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Apologies if I have just butchered that. Um, and our new mini series looking at sugarcane and can we make money if we just run a farm growing sugarcane? So a lot like the the grapes mini series that I've just done. Um, and I ran a poll after that as to what people would like to see. And sugarcane was the most popular. So we're going to do something very similar, but sugarcane focused. So just going into the settings, um, we have it on the map here. We're going to be playing on normal difficulty. I've started on start from scratch so that we get the... Um, standard half a million pounds of which two hundred thousand pounds is a loan um, and on here i have found field 15 that i would like to buy so just uh, one day seasons you know crop destruction on period of planning on like every everything on pretty much and say five hundred thousand pounds two hundred thousand pound loan um and we are going to buy field 15 it currently has grass in it but this is basically the cheapest field on the map and kind of the only one that I think we can afford at the moment. So that's $246,000 for our field. Um, and then I'm going to tackle this in a slightly different way based on the videos that I've done recently where I was looking at whether you should lease or buy stuff. And because we're going to be doing this as quite a short, short living farm, we're going to lease. Um, I'm going to be leasing a, um, an 8920 is what I go for in the end. That gives us 214 horsepower, which is enough to run the kit that we need to run. Um, and we um, this is a modern one. We don't want World Farm logos obviously on there. And I'm going to have a front weight on the front because we're going to be running the big sugarcane planter. Um, this is probably the only modded thing that we're having in here. So I did a poll for the patrons to see whether we used, used modded or base game kit for the planting and the harvesting. And the response was base game. So that's what we're going to use. Um, although we're going to be using the double um, row planter rather than the single row planter. And uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just looking through and seeing what the leasing costs are. Um, so that I can make sure I put enough money aside to lease all the kits. So we're going to need the two row planter. We're going to need a sugar cane trailer. This is the other area where I might bring mods in because there are maybe some better options for trailers. Um, and actually, although I had said that we're going to use that tractor, when it comes around the harvest, I might actually lease a truck and trailer to do the um, to, to put the crop in so to make that quicker. Um, and then we're going to be using the, the case Estoft harvester. Uh, that's, that's an expensive beast, you know, it's 18 grand plus another seven and a half grand an hour. So that's going to be a big expense. Um, and then we're going to need to buy all of the sugar cane that we need to actually plant. Um, and I used the field calculator. So the other thing is because it's grass in the field, I thought we might have to cultivate it. It turns out the planter is essentially a direct drill. So we we don't need to worry about cultivating, but... I was just going through here, collecting the information I need to work out roughly what it's going to cost us to get going this year. Um, I used the, the field calculator mod um, and that told me that we're going to need about 60, 65,000 liters of sugar cane to plant. Um, so that's, you know, that's that's like 30 odd grand just on putting on the sugar cane to plant. Um, and then I think I worked out that it's going to cost a about 60 to 70 grand to lease all of the equipment that we need for this first season um so that's going to be planting um we are actually we're going to need to weed um and then harvesting because that's that's all we're going to need to do this year um the field already has a fertilization state on it and because we're going to be planting into the grass crop that's going to give us our max fertilization so all of that said that means we don't actually need the loan at the moment so we're going to pay the loan off and then we'll borrow money when it comes to harvest so that's going to reduce our interest payments and what i will do like the grape series is i'll keep track of the finances and we'll have a check on those as we go through um, but we're going to lease our 8920 running on jewels. I felt like this kind of felt like the right tractor for this job. Um, it may not be. If it's not, then, you know, blame it on me not being a farmer, basically. So 
but it's a nice mod it's not stupidly expensive i do find that the so the giant's older case tractor is really expensive for for an old tractor so yep and the planter needs 200 horsepower which is why i went for the 214 horsepower version um it was just enough power and then i think i bite the first of three and a bit lots of 10 boxes of sugarcane so these are 2000 liters and 380 dollars each so plus a bit for store deliveries but yeah i think i end up buying 10 of them roughly um and then that just leaves planting the sugarcane and the um the cool thing about sugarcane yes it takes quite a long time to plant it's like a three i think it works out as a 3.8 meter wide cedar um or planter for the two rows that it does um you only have to plant it once unless you want to plow the field in and plant it in another field but sugarcane regrows so um my my plan for on here is we'll probably run this for a couple of years just to see where we end up um so we won't have to replant in the second year so we'll be making a bit more cash it might mean we hire a second harvester or something or you know maybe maybe if we make loads of money maybe we'll buy another field who knows who knows where we'll end up um i have done sugarcane in the past um so unlike grapes i have actually done on my very first series on fs22 the the last crop that i harvested on there which was a you know a good old survival challenge start with a chainsaw and a pot of land job um i harvested sugarcane and it did pay pretty darn well um you know it yields really well i think is the thing with sugarcane so um, I don't actually remember where it ranked when I did my most profitable crops thing, but um, I'm pretty sure that the answer is going to be different to grapes. Pretty sure. Um, so I did do a quick test when I was setting up just to make sure that this does in fact direct drill because I did think I was going to have to um, either cultivate or disc in this grass crop, but no. Um, which is quite nice because that's going to save us a bunch of time. Um, the other thing I did when I was prepping is I used course play to estimate how long it would take to do this job. And actually it, it was it was a little bit off, but that's how I got to my, you know, 70 grand's worth of leasing costs. So you see with where we are now, we are going to have to borrow some money when we get to harvest. But the cool thing about sugarcane, certainly on this map anyway, is that the... Um, the peak price is at harvest so we're going to go you know we're going to sell straight off the field which is why i said maybe getting a truck is a good idea or maybe we get the the trailer and we maybe go the tractor trailer route tractor not tractor for you uh my, my american viewers who who would call a truck a tractor sometimes um but maybe we go for a a tractor so basically release this tractor with one of the trailers that we looked at and then have a truck and trailer to go to the store um, one of the sell points we can use is in fact directly opposite from us so we may not need that time saving um, but i'll make that call nearer the time and what we could maybe do instead is if i don't know if there's if there's a couple of trucks that we could lease um and maybe have two trucks and do that way um, I've not really thought that far ahead yet, apart from obviously doing some of the information to work out what it's all going to cost. Um, I mentioned the patrons, and at this point, I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys all supporting the channel. Um, if anyone is interested in that, there are links below. The um, YouTube channel members get a, you know, you get you're supporting me there's a cost there's an area on the discord for channel supporters so that's youtube channel members and people on patreon um or patreon i i call them patrons so, uh, uh, if you go down the, the route of joining through patreon and becoming a patron um if you go for the i, I say the five pound or above tier but the above tier is currently full because there are awesome people in the world but if you go for the five pounds tier you get um access to that same you know community area on the discord um you get creative input so that's how like i mentioned earlier helped me decide how this series was going to go um you get the exclusive let's play series that i do for the patrons and also you get the chance to join me on 
my Maple series, there's a little bit of a multiplayer aspect that's just come into that. So yeah, if you're curious about how that works, go check out the uh, the Maple Farm video from Thursday. Because um, I talk about it in that rather a lot, because it's new. But yeah, um, if, you don't have to do any of that, you can just enjoy the videos, but you know, have to do a little bit of selling equally and i've mentioned this a lot less lately in videos um if if you've just found the channel thanks to this video then click the subscribe button and uh, as tom pemberton would say ring the little bell to get notifications uh, tom pemberton does not farm sugar cane okay. um really random aside to this uh, i thought i'd try some different camera work out um I was watching FSG's new Generations series and uh, just trying some shots inspired by how he does things. So, I do think it looks quite nice. It's a really nice looking game, I think. Um, I'm, there are better looking games, you know, obviously you've got games like Assetto Corsa and stuff like that. that look freaking amazing ultra realism, but I, I like how FS looks. So. Can see we've made a bit of progress the areas that are double fertilized are what we've got done so far um i've jumped back because we need to buy yet more sugar cane um we've planted the first 10 boxes or plus what we've got in the back of the planter at the moment so we do need to get a fresh supply and um i decided to start doing um lands essentially like i would do with the combine harvest start to uh kind of to break it up because I I, I I was settled in for this to be a good two hour job um you know it's uh it is it takes a long time but it's a crop that regrows so there's there's not really a you know you might say you'd like a wider planter but you're never going to have to replant it essentially so um but yeah let's let's buy another 10 boxes of sugar cane um so I think the, these videos are going to be probably somewhere generally in the kind of 10 to 20 minute length. And I expect this is going to run for probably five, six, seven episodes, something like that. That's my current plan. Um, you can see we've made a bunch of progress. I didn't, you didn't need to see me endlessly planting the sugar cane. Um, the tractor is hunting a little bit. It, 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 it feels like it, it needs a half gear. Um, it's, it's not really shifting gears. I'm not sure why it's quite, it's hunting. Maybe just because it's on, on the power limit and we should I shouldn't be quite so cheap. And I should have released the uh, the next the next model up and got a bit more horsepower. That would have probably saved this problem. But um, yeah. I play without the sound on, so it doesn't really matter if the engine's hunting. So, you know. I'll have edited the sound somehow so that it's it's not annoying. It's so one of my criteria when I'm re-watching and editing is that the sound doesn't annoy me. Because if it doesn't annoy me, hopefully it won't annoy other people that are like me or in some way similar to me and are sensitive to sound. Um, actually, one of the things that I've just ordered um, are so they're, they're, called, they're loop earplugs. Um, and rather than, I'm hoping anyway, rather than completely blocking sound, they attenuate the sound a little bit because as regulars will know, I am very sound sensitive and the neighbors have been doing a lot of building work and stuff again. So they were recommended to me by a friend. Um, he's got a, an autistic daughter who struggles with sound and they've just got her those. So um, I'm curious to see how they help when it's noisy um i don't like so this morning because the, the the neighbors were quite being quite noisy i had in-ear earbuds in and then headphones over the top yeah um but i don't like removing myself from the world that much um sometimes i do you know sometimes you want to remove yourself from from the world and escape into music or whatever um i didn't want to go that far away um i wanted to be able to hear what was going on in the house because no one else was awake at that point and yeah we have dogs so i didn't want to completely block out the world um i was before that i um, i stuck my earbuds in and put on some uh, some kind of white noise music i find that's really good for that kind of thing i was trying at that point i was trying to concentrate on some work and doing writing some stuff and uh i couldn't have 
engaging noise on but I couldn't not have something so yeah white noise is your friend at that point um, anywho we are nearly done with this planting and uh, I'm curious as to what people think about how this is going to turn out um, and any suggestions for not cheaty options for things like trailers for the carting and stuff um, I think harvester wise ah oh, there's actually there is, isn't there another harvester from the mod pack that came out the yellow ones the yellow the orangey ones um, I might have a look at that I should have a look at some of the kit that's in that as that pack as well actually I've forgotten about that um, until someone mentioned it for me using the cedar on my Greenlands Let's Play so I might have a look at that but yeah um, some trucks for carting um, you know maybe you know the kind of the truck with the box on the back that would be kind of cool I think doing the carting I could maybe do a bit of auto drive and course play to do that um, there's going to be some element of course play and stuff in this because you know I can't run the harvester and cart just how it is um, with sugar cane so there will be some element of that I did do all of this planting because I didn't want to pay for a worker and it didn't feel like a job but I could just I didn't want to just kick course play off was the very first thing that we did and as I said earlier about having dogs and being home alone the dog bell went so it was the postman People come into my house must hate it sometimes. I know I've had Amazon deliveries turn up and uh, by the time you get to the door and you've bellowed at the dogs to stop them barking and the dogs have been barking and been at the door because they, you know, if, if they can get to it, they will, uh, they will, 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 will make their presence known. Um, quite often the Amazon delivery person is back through the gate with the gate shut now there is a benefit there because it means they actually bother to shut the bloody gate because quite often they don't um oh that's a pet peeve of mine delivery people who don't shut the garden gate when they go back through it with empty hands i love having to go back out once i've realized that they've left it open and it's banging in the wind to uh, go shut it um, anyway we have three rows left to go um i was trying to be as frugal as possible with how much Sugar cane we brought at this point, and it's not expensive really, but because the planter is leased and we're not going to need it again, there was no point leaving it too full. I figured, um, you know, yeah, we, 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 to be fair, we're going to be returning it to the rental company pretty disgusting, so maybe we should not worry about returning it with some sugar cane in, apart from the fact that they're going to have to shovel the sugar cane out before they can wash it. So. I don't know. Not my problem, because it's not going to happen, because when I return it, it'll just disappear from the XML files. Yeah. This is why I don't ever do roleplay stuff. Because um, in my head, my head is screaming, but it doesn't happen. Yeah. I know it's like the most popular way, most popular form of arms in video i think um it's not something that i can do i tried once really hard and i wasn't even speaking at that point and it was still really hard because you have to do more you know, a lot of my farm sim is just playing farm sim or digging into numbers and stuff rather than having to worry about stories and that stuff if you enjoy that, I'm not judging you. I just don't. How my brain is. Doesn't bother me. It just is what it is. Yeah. That's it. So we're, we're at, we're at 1.7 hours on the tractor. So, um, and not quite the, the two and a bit hours that the course play had predicted, which is good because we are going to need to weed this field. And, um, what I'm going to do to save the the extra leasing costs, I think the cheapest way to do that is going to be to, when we finish, we'll return the plant up, we'll hang on to the tractor overnight, um, then 
in April we'll probably lease a um, I guess at that point it will be a, a it'll be a weeder or a hoe that we need to lease we'll, uh, we'll lease ourselves a hoe over here in Brazil and um, weed the field obviously sorry um, yeah and we'll get that done and then basically there'll be a bunch of skipping time to get to harvest so um, because there aren't any more steps to do the field's fully fertilized once we've dealt with the weeds it's just wait to harvest obviously once we've harvested we'll need to fertilize a couple of times i don't know if we'll need to weed a second time um i'm not sure how it works with crops that regrow grass obviously you never have to weed so that's uh yeah i'm not sure but i guess we'll learn as we go along as to how that works but yeah the tractor has been really good it's a really nice i don't remember who the mod is by but it's off of mod hub um and i just grabbed it because it it felt like the right tractor for the job you know um I don't know, it just did. Um, if we end up as sugar millionaires, so one of the things I haven't mentioned that I will look at is productions and producing sugar from the sugar cane. If we end up as sugar millionaires, maybe we'll have a, you know, some big old tractors, although at that point we'll just have, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have more fields to plant. So yeah, maybe we'll have, you know, a big old case, uh, that big case, uh, was it Optum or Magnum, the, uh, the, the, the Matt Trucker one that I did the silly lifting things video with. Maybe we'll have one of those and we'll be using one of those to plant or some of the stuff from that mod pack that I mentioned. Um, who knows if we, you know, say we may end up sugarcane millionaires and uh, what we have ended up with is not quite enough sugarcane in the planter. So we're going to have to buy one more box and yeah. Um, I did have a bit of a brain fart here because I thought I'll just put a little bit in and we can keep the spare box but we don't ever need to replant unless we buy another field. And I don't think we're well in this save, but you know. It's, uh, I've never played on a, a Brazilian map before, so it's kind of cool, it's kind of different for me. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. So um, I'm not sure how I'll do the videos, whether I'll do them as the, 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 the morning ones like I did with some of the other mini series or whether they'll be mixed in during the week. We will see. Anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Comments, questions, or suggestions below. I'm just going to go and get the rest of that sugar cane. So there is that. Um, and yeah, I hope we'll, 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 we'll go on a little journey and uh, check out whether we can become rich farming sugar cane. I will see you next time on Estancia Sao Carlo or however you say that map name. Tell me below.